Once a giant, always a giant. For me, it's only a giant. What's going on YouTube, Diggy546? I wanted to switch it up a little bit, get into some film sessions. I haven't done one in about a couple months since pretty much I was doing the draft prospects. But I wanted to look at Lorenzo Carter today. Uh, we have O'Shane Zeminez on the other side. I call him Zemini Crickets because you usually don't see much happening from him. But let me know if you want me to do one on O'Shane Zeminez too. Those are our two young pass rushers that we had before we drafted Aziz Ojolari. And they both pretty much have to step up this year. If they don't step up, they're in danger of not making the team. I'm not sure if this is a contract year yet for Lorenzo Carter. I'm pretty sure he has one more year left after this. Same thing with O'Shane Zeminez. He's got a little bit more time, but Zeminez has been so not noticeable that he really could have trouble making the roster in the next couple of seasons, if not this season. But this is about Lorenzo Carter. He is number 59 on the left side of your screen, lined up over the tight end. And I wanted to talk about, I liked what I saw from him last year. I really did. I thought that he did a great job against the run. And I thought he put pressure on the quarterback. Now, I'll talk a little bit later about why that pressure didn't turn into, you know, in that four games, I think he had one sack. He could have had, you know, three or four sacks. But I'll, I'll talk a little bit about why that pressure didn't turn into sacks. But let's look at here. Uh, they're going to try to block him with the tight end. And he just basically just puts his body into him. Puts his body into him, gets lower. And if that tight end is at the point where, I guess maybe they're around the same height, but Lorenzo is a little bit shorter, uh, low man is going to win every time. And as an outside linebacker, pass rusher, 3-4 guy, your job is to win those matchups when you're against a tight end. And that's exactly what he does. He, you know, gets low, gets inside. And at that point, there's really not much that this tight end can do. And this ends up being a one-yard loss. And Lorenzo Carter does this on the regular. He does this regularly. So on this play, you're going to see Lorenzo Carter do a good job of being disciplined. He's going to squeeze. He's going to follow the quarterback. Uh, he does, does a pretty good job, and this play ends up not being successful because Lorenzo Carter was in the right place and was disciplined, uh, decided to follow the quarterback instead of following the route. So we're going to watch. He's going to do a good job of identifying the run. He's not being blocked. And the first thing you want to do when you're not being blocked is squeeze in case the quarterback decides he wants to take off with the ball. So he squeezes, makes sure that nothing gets over there and then he sees that Dak keeps the ball and he has the decision am I going to follow Amari Cooper or am I going to follow Dak and he decides that he's going to follow Dak and the good thing that he does is if he makes a decision that he's going to go after Dak Prescott he doesn't make it half-heartedly he goes wholeheartedly towards Dak Prescott and makes this a tough throw because if he hesitates and he's just lollygagging and following him slowly then that lets Dak really set his feet and, you know, be comfortable and really look to hit guys at the bottom of your screen uh, who might be coming open. But since he closes that distance and has his hands up and makes this throw a lot harder than it needed to be, you get an incomplete pass. Even though Dak does a great job of still getting it in the bread basket, could have been a lot, uh, <laughs> could have been a lot easier for them. So right here, you're going to see one of the few sacks that Lorenzo Carter ended up getting. I think there was only one. Maybe there was two. I'm not absolutely sure. Don't have the stat sheet in front of me. But Lorenzo Carter is going to do something that you see Aziz Ojolari doing, which is a long arm move, which I wish Lorenzo Carter would showcase some more pass rushing moves because he has all the athleticism in the world. He's probably one of the most athletic linebackers outside guys to come out of the draft. Uh, every athletic metric uh you know those guys who put together the analytics of how successful someone was at the combine lorenzo carter is historical in, in that field so lorenzo carter is going to come off of the edge here and what you're going to see is he's going to use this long arm move he's going to convert speed to power come off the edge comes off the edge like a rocket engages and then he's just going to see him extend this arm and just push this guy with one arm. 
He's just going to push the right tackle <laughs> with one arm and kind of bend the corner. And just when he sees the quarterback step up, he disengages and makes the sack. And again, I just want to reiterate, Lorenzo Carter was dominant against the run. He's number 59 once again at the left of your screen. And he was dominant against the run. I mean, they tried to block him with tight ends. They tried to, you know, swing guards over sometimes to block him. None of it really worked. You have to, he, he's someone that you have to pay attention if you want to run the ball successfully. The Giants definitely missed him on the outside after he went down. A lot of the runs that went against us happened pretty much towards our outside linebacker. But we're going to watch Lorenzo Carter here play the run. They try to send a guard over. Actually, they, yeah, they try to send this left guard over to block him, and he makes it difficult for him. He just shares that block. I mean, he attacks. He's actually, you know, you want to attack the shoulder, but he's actually pretty much able to attack the arm here. So if you got someone attacking your arm, you're not going to be able to hold on to that guy unless you literally hold, and that's going to be a penalty. So disengages there and makes a nice tackle on the running back there. So Lorenzo Carter is to the left of your screen again, number 59. He is not Jabril Peppers lined up over the tight end. He's lined up right to the left of Jabril Peppers. And you're just going to see how he continuously converts speed to power and how this can be dangerous. If he learns some pass rush moves and he's able to get a consistent go-to move, you know, two or three go-to moves, he can be amazing in the league. But we'll see how that works out for him. But on this play, this definitely was enough for him to be able to get pressure on the quarterback. So let's watch him. And, and Villanueva is a big guy. He's a good left tackle. And you're just going to see him come off the edge, engage, and, and just manhandle this huge man who might, you know, have almost 60 pounds on him. He just manhandles him, gets in his chest, and gets a nice hit on big man. And then this is going to be the last play that I show you. This is pretty much what I mean when I say he needs to develop some more moves because most of the time, if it's Lorenzo Carter versus the tackle, Lorenzo Carter is winning that one-on-one -on -one matchup as far as me and the tackle. But the thing is, Lorenzo Carter is, is pushing this guy. He's pushing him. He's turning the corner. But if you can't disengage, it's going to be tough to get sacks. So Jared Goff is, is able to step up. And if you really look at it, I mean, this Rams offensive line pretty much has this place handled. So if, if Jared Goff wanted to, He's able to step up and then, you know, kind of run to the right. And he's got a lot of space there to extend that play. So you need to be able to disengage and be able to get a hit on the quarterback or, you know, because listen, Jared Goff has enough awareness here to secure the football and step up. Uh, if he's playing against a rookie quarterback, maybe this is a sack. But he's got to be able to disengage and turn this power that he has right here Maybe you spin, maybe you rip, you know, to get that dude's hands off you. You know, maybe you, because you see him, Lorenzo's got his left hand on, on the tackle's right arm. Maybe you pick up that right hand and, you know, rip and kind of drop that elbow on top of that tackle's, you know, arm. And that way you get his hands off of you. And then that's a sack. So just to give my quick thoughts on how Lorenzo Carter's developing. I think uh, year one was Lorenzo Carter just getting a feel for everything. I mean, he was a third round pick. Uh, year two was Lorenzo Carter becoming a better run stopper. Uh, he, he really worked on disengaging in the run game, being a better run stopper. And I think that paid dividends. And you saw that uh, this past year in year three. So this will be year four for him. So this is a contract year. So this makes this so much of a bigger year than, than any other, other year. Uh, and he's been working with an MMA trainer to focus on his hands, to focus on disengaging. And I think that's going to help him a lot because a lot of times he's winning these matchups, he's throwing guys around, but he's not able to disengage. So Lorenzo Carter is one of my favorite young giants. I think he has a ton of potential, but it's year four. If you don't step up now, if you don't have at least, uh, you know, I'm not going to put a number, but if you don't have a season where you look like an up-and-coming, really good player, you're going to be replaced. 
it's just as simple as that. You guys let me know what you think of Lorenzo Carter. Do you think that this is it for him? Or do you think that he's going to end up being a really good player and we'll have two Georgia bookends, Lorenzo Carter and Aziz Ojolari? Let me know. So if you made it this deep into the video, I'm calling you a D6 squad member. If you're a D6 squad member, you got to hit that subscribe button. You got to turn on that notification bell. And listen, I make all kinds of content for NFL teams. So if you're not a Giants fan, don't worry. I'll cover your team. If I'm not covering your team, let me know and have a good one.